Hi, I'm James Porter and this is the video on how to add triple digit numbers with a 100 bead abacus. If you've just watched the video on how to add double digit numbers with a 100 bead abacus, you are in the right place. Let's get started right away. We're going to start by adding 243 plus 124. Again, like we did in the single digit and double digit videos and examples, we will start by forming the first number, which in this case is 243. Starting at the bottom, if it's easier, 3, 4, 2. So we have 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 243 right there. And then we have to add 124 to that. So let's add 4, and then we need to do 2 and 1. I didn't move the beads all the way over this time, so you could see that there is 124, and there is 243. So 243 plus 124. And then if we push the beads together, we can solve this equation. All right, this is where having a sheet of paper gets a little more helpful and more practical because we have larger numbers. So let's count out the numbers. One, two, three. And then we have two, four, six. Two, four, six, seven. So our answer to this problem is 367. Again, when writing, I started from the top going to the bottom, just as a little reminder. All right, let's try a little trickier one. Let's try 568 plus 137. Let's get our abacus ready by forming the first number, 568. 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 6, 2, 4, 5. So there we have 568. And now we have to add 137 to that. Let's start at the bottom and at, start counting off seven beads. One, two. Since we ran out of beads there, I will write down two that, so we can remember that to count off for later. Add the one ten bead, and then you can move the ones back. And then starting from two, we will go three, four, five. Since we're counting to seven, we'll go six, seven. And there is our ones place. Next, we need to go to the tens place, which we need to add three. One, two, three. Now, we formed a group of ten here, but we don't have to add any more beads. And even when this happens, whenever you form a group of ten, you'll move one bead from the row above and move the ten beads back to their side. So this case, we'd move one 100 bead and move the tens back. And that gives us our answer if we were just adding 37 to 500. 68, but we need to add one 100 bead to give us our exact answer. Now this one's a little tricky yet too to write down, so I to just think and see this is the answer, so I will write it down. Two, four, six, seven. Since there are zero green beads, we will write zero as a placeholder. And two, four, five. Our answer then would be 705. Your abacus should look something like this, and the two is my notes, and if you need notes, you can write them down on the sheet of paper as well. All right, let's try one more tricky example. We're going to try 758 plus 460. So let's start by forming the first number, 758, 468, 245, 246, 7. So there we have 758. Now we add, have to add 460. Since there is a zero in the ones place, we do not have to move any beads, which is really nice because then there's less numbers to remember. All right, now we move to the tens and let's move six green beads. One, two, three, four, four five. Now I'm going to write down five to remember four later. If you need to, you can. If you don't, don't worry about it. But I would suggest it. It is very helpful. Now let's move one 100 bead and move the 10, 10 beads back. Now let's continue from 5 and we have to get to 6, so we just go 6. Now we have to add the hundreds place, or the thousands, no hundreds, I was right the first time, hundreds place. Let's start 1, 2. I'm going to cross off my 5 in the corner so I don't get mixed up and write down 2 so I can remember that. Then we can move one 1,000 bead over and move the 10 100 beads over because, again, 
one bead of the row above equals 10 beads of the row below. So in this case, one 1,000 equals 10 one hundreds. Let's move these back into place. Continuing from two, we have to get to four, three, and four. Now this one is one where you'd really want to write down your number because there are lots to deal with. So starting at the top, one, then two following the one and a one after that, and two, four, six, eight, to give us our answer, which is 1,208. All right, I think I'm gonna do this one one more time just because it is a little trickier. I'm gonna go a little quicker this time, but it'll be the same equation, 758 plus 460. Starting at the bottom, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 5, 2, 4, 6, 7. I have formed 758 and will now add 0 to the 1's place because there's a 0 in 460, 6 to the 10's place, 2, 4, 5. I'm going to write down my 5 so I can remember it for later. Move 1, 100 and move the 10 10's back and go 6 since we only had to get to six. Lastly, I will add the hundreds place, which is four, one, two. I will cross off my five so I don't get it mixed up with the two. Move my thousands bead over, move my hundreds beads back and continue three, four. After writing down my number, which is one, two, one, two, four, six, eight. This gives us the answer. 1,218. Now that I've showed you how to do a couple, I'm going to give a few examples for you to try and solve on your own. I'm going to give you 10 seconds again. If you need more time, which you likely will, you can pause the video. Please do. Don't just look at the answers. All right, let's start and let's solve 316 plus 421. <music> answer you should have got was 737 and your abacus should look like this. Did you get it? Great job. Let's solve next um, 827 plus 419. <music> The answer you should have gotten was 1,246, and your abacus should look like this. These are my notes again. Did you get it? Well done. Lastly, let's solve 774 plus 349. The answer you should get is 1,123, and your abacus should look something like this. You've done a great job learning how to add triple digit numbers using a 100 bead abacus today. If you need more help, you can watch this video again or click the button below that says examples to see more examples. If you're looking for a challenge, you can continue on to the challenge videos. There is a button below as well. I'm James Porter signing out for now, but remember, a broken abacus is no one's best friend because no one can count on it. <laughs>